Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now in this video I am going to show you how to update the memory card of the navigation built in in our Digipads. That is the iGo Primo next gen navigation app which has been built into our Digipad and I am going to show you how exactly you can update the apps for this navigation app. Now basically we don't use the Google Maps in our Digipad because it is not available and there are only some third party solutions and Google Maps is not natively enable, enabled in the Digipad. So sometimes we are forced to use this the default navigation that is the iGo navigation app. Now most of us have this memory card in our Digipad and some of us have already lost it. So now in this video I am going to show you how to uh, update the memory card of the navigation apps and of course also how to take a backup of the memory card so in case your memory card does get corrupted or some files get lost you can take a backup and restore the backup to the original memory card of the navigation app now currently my navigation uh, app is working properly because i have the memory card inserted in the micro sd card slot so now i'm going to show you how exactly you can remove that memory card from the micro sd card slot and you can update the app through using a laptop or a personal computer so make sure if you are planning on updating the memory card of the navigation app you should have access to a laptop or a personal computer so that you can download the software required to update the memory card and you can get that done easily so let's just go ahead and i'll show you how you can remove the memory card so just open up the micro sd card slot on top of the digipad right here it will come off easily now once we have removed that if you can see there are two words written as media and map so the maps memory card will be on the right side and the media or the media files music files which you are using that memory card will be on the left side so make sure you remove the map memory card that is on the right side you just press it with your nail a bit and it is going to pop out very easily and you can pull it out so that you get to see the memory card of the navigation app now i have a sandisk 8 gb memory card inserted into the navigation app slot so this is the memory card so now i'm going to use this memory card and i'm going to show you how exactly you can use this memory card and update it via the software using the pc or a laptop so once you have taken out the memory card from the digipad and uh, you have it ready with your laptop the next thing which you need to get is a card reader so this in this case i have this eyeball card reader and it's a pretty nifty and a very useful card reader so in case you don't have a card reader you won't be able to do this method you won't be able to follow up this method so make sure you get a card reader like this it's available in any of the mobile shops or also it is avail available on the amazon as well i'll leave a link in the description if you want to buy one so just get a card reader and now i'm going to insert the my micro sd card into the micro sd card slot of the card reader so the micro sd cards is inserted into the card reader uh, you need not insert the card reader into the laptop as of now so the next thing which you need to do in order to update the memory card or in order to update the navigation card is open the google chrome browser so once the google chrome is opened up what you need to do is you need to type in a, a few words that is the navi extras n a v i e x t r a s navi extras toolbox download so you need to type in these words navi extras toolbox download and press on the enter button so now it is going to show you the second option as you can see here that is the downloads option right here if you can see there is a second option which says downloads so just click on the downloads button and wait for the web page to load so you are going to be greeted with this page and that says as navi extras.com so there is a software right here and it is a navi extras toolbox so this is a software which you need to download in order to update the memory card of your navigation app so there is a download button right below so just click on that and wait for the download to begin now it is going to ask you where to store the download so just click on the save button so the download has completed if you can see here the download complete dialog box has opened up so i'll just click on the open button so it is going to ask you for to give permission for the setup So we'll just go ahead and install the application onto our laptop. So 
so once the installation completes and you get a dialog box like this and it is going to ask I would like to start toolbox now so, so just unclick this unclick this just take away the tick mark right here and click on the finish button so now the Navi Extras toolbox has downloaded and you can see an icon right here that Navi Extras toolbox so once you have downloaded and installed this software now it is the time for you to take the card reader which has the memory card of your navigation inserted inside and insert it into the laptop or your computer whichever you are trying and now as you can see I have inserted it inside the next thing which you need to do is open up the Navi Extras toolbox so make sure that your laptop or PC is connected to the internet before opening this so just double clicking on the icon now it's going to open the application and let's see what is going to show up and I'll show you how exactly you can follow the method and order to in order to update the app so this is the first main page and now as you can see it is initializing and waiting for device so this is the current status for it it, is, it will scan for the memory card and now as you can see connected to updated server device manager is initialized now it is going to change status as accordingly and uh, as soon as possible it is going to connect into the memory card now it is saying parsing contents on device so it has detected my device also and uh, currently it is going offers updated and now it's done so now as you can see my navigation device it is showing as honda pss avn now it is a honda pss avn pss stands for premium sound solutions now that is the company which makes digipad and not honda per se honda outsources the digipad to a company called as premium sound solutions it is based in pune and in hyderabad and they have their offices also there the premium sound solutions is the company which makes the digipad so the pss stands for premium sound solutions and there it is written as the honda pss avn audio video unit so sd card memory storage it is also showing and even you can see here the connection logo has come up and it shows a proper connection as honda pss avn so now the next thing which you need to do is it is going to ask you to log in into the app now most of you of course i don't think anybody would have created a username and password for this so there is a create a user profile option right here so if you just click on this you will have to enter some of the details such as your name uh, your email address your phone number stuff like that and it is going to register as a new profile so once you have done that you can enter your username and password and login now I have already created my user profile using this link so now I'm going to type in that uh, username and password I'm, and I'm going to log in in order to show you how exactly the app works and how exactly you can update the app or your update the memory card so now I have uh, inserted my typed in my username and password so let's just click on the login button and I'll show you how the page turns out so this is the home page of the Navi Extras toolbox so now it is showing as contents map of India 16 Q4 that is a 2016 quarter 4 that is the current map status it is having in my memory card and uh, the app has opened up right now so if we want to check our device so there is an option called as device right here on the left side so if you just click on the device button it is going to detect the device and show you any of the updates which if they are available for your memory card So the page has opened and it says your device is up to date and in case there are any updates it is going to show a list of updates right here once you click on that there is an install button right here and now it is uh, currently not available because there are no updates but in case your memory card has any update this install button will be on and you can click on this install button so that will directly install the application directly install the updates on your memory card because it is directly con connected to your laptop and uh, you sh make sure that you do not remove the memory card while the app is working so if there are any updates it is going to install directly from the laptop onto the memory card and you don't have to do anything else except click on the install button and once the install is completed you have to close the window and close this software and you can remove the memory card so right now it is showing as my device is up to date so this is the current status and there is also the one important option called as the backup option now I needed to show you this option because most of you have corrupted files corrupted memory cards so in case you have a new memory card of your navigation make sure you install this app and head to this backup option and right now as you can see I have created a backup of my memory card yesterday so you will be greeted with an option in order to create a backup and there is an option called as create backup so if you just click on this a backup 
desktop of your navigation a memory card is going to be created on the laptop and in sometimes in certain cases if you have lost some files if your files get deleted or a memory card gets damaged you can restore it using this backup and it will be running up and normal just like how it was working before so it is a very important uh, work you need to do in order for your memory card to work properly and uh, i tried with i tried doing this with another memory card i tried to restore the memory card uh, data to a newer memory card and install it into the maps but it did not work so basically it shows that only the device only the memory card which has been given by the honda works with the navigation and any other memory card if you try and copy the contents to that memory card and use it as a navigation card it is not going to work so you need the one and only memory card which has been given with you for the map so that hardware is extremely important and you can restore the thing uh, to its original content using the same memory card but you cannot use any other memory card as well so this is the backup option it's a very important option and there is a shop option as well but currently i think it is disabled for india because whenever i click on the shop button it shows us item not found so there are no app purchases we can do right now because of uh, there is some restriction i guess if you want to even buy uh, apps by giving money there is no option as of now into this app so wh whatever only thing you can do is you can click on the device option and you can see if there are any updates directly provided by the company and it is going to show up the updates right here in this window and if there are any you need to click on the install button right here and install them accordingly so this is the software guys this is the navi extras toolbox software which you require in order to update the memory card of your i go maps and this is how exactly that is done so now as you have seen i have already created a backup of my memory card and i have checked for my updates there are no updates as of now as it shows like the current status it is showing there so what you need to do is just next is just close the application completely and then you go ahead and remove the memory card carefully using this option right here to safely remove the hardware and eject media now use that eject media storage because sometimes if you directly remove the memory card the file will get corrupted and sometimes it may not work with the digipad so make sure you eject the memory card before removing it from the laptop so now i have ejected now the even the light of the card reader has gone off now i can easily take out the memory card now i'll get back into the car and i'll show you and i'll put it back into the car and show you if it is working or not so as you saw i just updated the memory card i just opened up and it showed that my sd card is up to date and i don't require any new updates so in case you require a new update for your memory card you can insert the memory card in your laptop using a card reader and you can see if your memory card needs any sort of an update so now i have checked this out and i have also taken a backup of this memory card so in case something happens to this i can restore that using the, uh, the backup restored on my pc personal computer but make sure you remember that the restoration can only be done on this original memory card and you cannot restore it on any other second hand memory cards or any third party memory cards you have to do it on right on this memory card only so now that i have taken a backup and i have checked for the update now I am going to insert it back into the memory card slot of the maps available in the digipad which is situated on the right side of the media memory card. So as you can see I am pressing it down and you just have to press it gently inside so that it snaps fit into the position. So there you go I just put it in and it has set inside now I can close the cover and I seal it properly. So now once the memory card is sealed you can click on the navigation button again. So now it loads up the memory card and uh, if you can see the memory card works fine and the update uh, and the backup didn't create any sort of problem with the memory card and uh, the update the uh, updating software also didn't create any problem we just took a backup and checked for the updates and the memory card works flawlessly since my maps are currently working right now if there was any sort of an issue with the memory card it would have showed an error and the navigation app would not have opened so also you guys can also try this from your memory card of your navigation app you can just remove it from the slot as just as i showed you and try to update it using the updating software and if there is any update it will show up on the software and you can update it easily so that's it guys i hope you like this video and many of you were asking for this many of you were questioning me and personally messaging me about how to update the igo maps so this is the way this is the only way currently right now which is available and you can try this on your memory card as well so just go ahead buy a card reader and if you already have a card reader it's very easy just insert it into your laptop or pc and download and install the updating software and cross check it with the software if you have any update update available for your memory card so i hope you like this video do make sure before you go away you hit that subscribe button and also like this video and also comment below on what you felt after watching this video this is travel tech signing off and have a great day